everyone, welcome back to My Edgar Brains. In this video, we will be continuing Chapter 1 series. In the previous videos, we have learned three sample questions of number series using the combination of mathematical operations. And in this video, we will be learning some more sample questions of number series using the combination of mathematical operations. So let's get into it. Sample question 4. The question is, find the missing element from the given series. 6, 7, 16, 51 and the next element is missing that we need to find it out. The given options are, option A, 168, option B, 186, option C, 208 and option D, 280. It's a bit difficult question. Let's see how we can solve this question. For that, we can take all the elements from the given series. That is 6, 7, 16, 51 and the next element is missing that we need to find it out. So in order to find the missing element, what was our first step? Yes, our first step is to identify the relationship between the given elements. But when we analyze these elements, we can see that the elements are increasing from first, right? So we can assume that it can be either addition or multiplication. But when we do both the operations, we'll get an irregular pattern, right? So here we can assume that it's a combination of both addition as well as multiplication. So let's check that. For that, we can take the first two elements, that is, 6 and 7. Here, when we multiply 6 with 1, we'll get 6, right? But our second element is 7. So in order to get 7, we have to add plus 1 to 6. That is, 6 into 1, which is equal to 6, plus 1 is equal to 7. Okay, let's take the next two elements, that is, 7 and 16. Here, when we multiply 7 with 2, we will get 14, right? So here our third element is 16, right? That is 7 into 2, that is 14, plus 2 is equal to 16. Similarly, we can take the third and fourth element, that is 16 and 51. Here, when we multiply 16 with 3, we will get 48, right? But our fourth element is 51. So in order to get 51, we have to add plus 3 to it, right? That is 16 into 3, which is equal to 48, plus 3 is equal to 51. So from these relations, we'll get a pattern, right? So here our pattern goes like into 1 plus 1, into 2 plus 2, into 3 plus 3. From this pattern, it is clear that the relations are multiplying and adding the previous number with the consecutive numbers starting from 1. So let's check whether it is right or wrong. Here, 6 into 1 plus 1 will get 7. Again, 7 into 2 plus 2 will get 16. 16 into 3 plus 3 will get 51. So from this pattern, what will be the next relation? Yes, the next relation will be into 4 plus 4. So here it will be into 4 plus 4. That is 51 into 4 plus 4 is equal to 208. So the missing element here is 208. From the options, our answer will be option C, 208. Next is sample question 5. Complete the given series 4, 6, 14, 44 and the next element is missing that we need to find it out. The options given are Option A, 178 Option B, 186 Option C, 218 and Option D, 224 Here, it's a bit difficult question. Let's see how we can solve this question. So for that, we have to take all the elements from the given series. That is 4, 6, 14, 
44 and the next element is missing that we need to find it out. So in order to find the missing element, the first step is to identify the relationship between the given elements. Here in these elements, we can see that the elements are increasing from the first, right? So here also we can assume that it can be either addition or multiplication. Here, when we do both the operations, we'll get an irregular pattern, right? So here also we can assume that it's the combination of both addition as well as multiplication. So let's check that. For that, we can take the first two elements, that is 4 and 6. Here, when we multiply 4 with 1, we'll get 4, right? But here, our second element is 6. So in order to get 6, we have to add plus 2 to 4, that is 4 into 1, which is equal to 4, plus 2, we will get 6. Similarly, we can do with the second and third elements, that is 6 and 14. Here, when we multiply 6 with 2, we will get 12. So in order to get 14, we have to add plus 2 to it, that is 6 into 2, which is equal to 12, plus 2, we will get 14. Now, let's take the third and fourth elements, that is 14 and 44. Here, when we multiply 14 with 3, we'll get 42, right? And when we add plus 2 to it, we'll get 44. That is, 14 into 3, which is equal to 42, plus 2, we'll get 44. So, from these relations, we'll get a pattern, right? So, here our pattern goes like, into 1 plus 2, into 2 plus 2, into 3 plus 2. So from this pattern, it is clear that the relations are multiplying the previous number with the consecutive numbers and adding with the same previous number with the fixed number 2. Let's check whether it is right or wrong. Here, 4 into 1, which is equal to 4, plus 2, we will get 6. Again, 6 into 2, which is equal to 12, plus 2, we will get 14. 14 into 3, which is equal to 42, plus 2, we will get 44. So, from this pattern, our next relation will be, yes, into 4 plus 2. That is, here it will be, into 4 plus 2. So, 44 into 4 plus 2, we will get 178. So, here the missing element is 178. From the options, our answer will be option A, 178. Next is sample question 6. The question is, find the missing element from the given series. 113, 225, 449, 897 and the next element is missing that we need to find it out. The given options are, option A. 1765, option B, 1773, option C, 1785, and option D, 1793. It's a bit difficult question. Let's see how we can solve this question. For that, we can take all the elements from the given series. That is, 113, 225, 449, 897, and the next element is missing that we need to find it out. Here, our first step is to identify the relationship between the given elements. Here, when we analyze these elements, we can see that the elements are increasing from the first, right? So, we can assume that it can be either addition or multiplication operation. Since the numbers are in a rapid increase, we can say that it may follow multiplication operation of number series. So, let's check it. For that, we can take the first two elements, that is 113 and 225. Here, when we multiply 113 with 2, we will get 226. But here, our second element is 225. So, in order to get 225, we can subtract 1 from 226, right? That is 113. Multiplied by 2, we will get 226. 
From that, when we subtract minus 1, we'll get 225. Again, let's take the second and third element, that is 225 and 449. Here, when we multiply 225 with 2, we'll get 450. But here our third element is 449. So in order to get 449, we have to subtract 1 from 450. That is 225 into 2, which is equal to 450, minus 1, we'll get 449. Similarly, we can take the third and fourth element, that is 449 and 897. Here, when we multiply 449 with 2, we'll get 898. But here, our fourth element is 897. So, in order to get 897, we have to subtract minus 1 from it. That is, 449 into 2 minus 1, we'll get 897. So, from these relations, we'll get a pattern, right? Here our pattern goes like into 2 minus 1, into 2 minus 1, into 2 minus 1. So, in this pattern, it is clear that the relations are multiplying the previous number with the fixed number 2 and subtracting the same previous number with the fixed number 1. So, let's check whether it is right or wrong. Here, 113 into 2, we'll get 226. Minus 1, we'll get 225. Again, 225 multiplied by 2, we'll get 450. Minus 1, we'll get 449. Again, 449 multiplied by 2, we'll get 898. When we subtract minus 1 from it, we'll get 897. So, from this pattern, our next relation will be multiplied by 2 minus 1. That is, here it will be into 2 minus 1. That is, 897 multiplied by 2 minus 1 is equal to 1793. So, here the missing element is 1793. From the options, our answer will be option D. 1793. In this video, we have learned three more patterns of competition of mathematical operations in number series. From this, you will be having a practice session with these sample questions. The more you practice, these questions will be a piece of cake. So, all the best guys. We will see in the next video. Thank you.